everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Thank you for joining me again. Last week we talked about the surprises that come up a lot of times when you drill. Or I shouldn't say a lot of times. That's a rare, rare occurrence what happened last time that I showed you with the pit in the bowl. Uh, but I think it's a nice transition into what I want to talk about now. And hopefully you guys will enjoy this. I have a lot of footage today to show you all. So I want to try and get through this as quickly as possible. And then we can come back and kind of dissect some things. Because there's some... Nuance. So we'll go through today. Just I'm going to show you everything in the drilling process. And then next week and the weeks following... Um, We'll get into the a little bit more nitty gritty of how to do things and and some issues that you'll you'll face when you're drilling a pipe this way. And I'll I'll try and show you some other ways to drill a pipe. This is by no means the only way. This is the way I do almost every pipe, but there are other ways to do it. So first, um, this is the final pipe right here. This is a little blowfish, um, and you can see in the video that I'm going to show, it's a pretty funky shape, so I wanted to show a good example of sometimes how difficult it is to get all the lines to to match up inside the pipe. Um, with something like this, you have a very tight window of where you can put all the drill bits, so you have to get it just right. And so you'll see I spend a lot of time drawing the bisecting line around the pipe, like this. That's very important to get that just right and spend the, spend the time to get it just perfect, especially on a pipe like this, where you have a lot of flowing lines and they're not on the center. Once you've got your bisecting line, though, you can start adding the angle of your mortise. And so I'll draw that line and I'll get it just perfectly straight but perpendicular to the bisecting line. Once I do that, and I'm happy with the angle of it, I'll draw the line for the chamber. And I'll do the same thing. It's uh, perpendicular to the bisecting line that went around the pipe. And here you can kind of play around and, and set the the placement of your chamber a little bit to adjust to the shape. And that's why we do it, we drill this way, is so that we can kind of adjust these things all as we go along. Once you drill the chamber, um, and sometimes I'll do this in reverse, often it's better to drill or uh, to draw the airway here, but I had a specific place I wanted to put the chamber, so I drew it first. We'll do the same thing perpendicular to the bisecting line, and we want to get the chamber line and the airway line to meet up at the right place. Because they're both perfectly perpendicular to the bisecting line, so the place that they meet on the outside of the block with those lines will give you a good indication of what's going to happen inside. So we're basically done drawing the lines on the pipe. Now we're going to glue blocks on the intersections of those those lines that we drew. So on the bottom, you'll notice that there are three places that the lines intersect, the bisecting line. And I'm going to glue a piece of wood on all of those um, to make sure that I have a place to push from when I drill the pipe. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So we always drill the chamber last, and the mortise first. So you can see here I'm drilling the mortise. It's a little bit long because I'm going to countersink this, and that's a little bit more advanced techniques um, that we'll get into later. But I'm going to have to turn an extra hole in the shank of this pipe in order to get a stem to sit in there properly. So I'm planning for that when I drill the overlong mortise here. Once I've got the mortise in and I'm, it's at the right angle, 
I will drill an airway pilot real quick just to make sure that I'm going to get that airway right in the bottom of the chamber if possible. So a pipe cleaner will just zip right through. Once I've set the, the placement in the bottom of the mortise of the airway, we'll go the rest of the way with a longer bit to get right to the spot we want to get inside of the pipe where it's going to meet up with the, cham the bottom of the chamber. So we'll go all the way down and I'll adjust the drill bit in about half to an inch length to make sure that the drill bit is stable because uh, if it gets too long away from the chuck it'll start waving and doing kind of some weird things and get off center. Once the airway is drilled we'll do a chamber pilot. So this is a uh, 3 sixteenths I think but you can use any drill bit in that size range to do this and that's just going to meet up with the airway that we just drilled. So you can see in the video that I get it almost immediately and there's a uh, air passage and you can see the dust flying out of the drill passage. <clears throat> Once we do that and we're confident that those holes met up properly we're going to go in with a second pilot because I'm going to come in with a chain, uh, spoon bit later and spoon bits need a little bit more uh, pilot room than do some of the other stuff that I've used in the past like silver and diming bits or um, spade bits. So here I've got a 5 16 rounded nose pilot that I'm going to sink in there. And Once I'm done with that we'll get to the spoon bit and that's that's what will remove the most material and it's pretty quick. Um, this is a spoon bit I made myself. It's pretty sharp. Kind of proud of that one. Um, but it worked out just perfectly. Everything was on center and here's the pipe. I've cleaned it up a little bit but uh, hopefully you can see that it's a pretty quick process. I've sped up the video obviously but practicing and taking your time with getting those lines just right is really important because this is a very funky shape and it could have easily gone wrong. So doing all the prep work and the gluing just right and getting all your lines tidied up will help you to get all this right. So hopefully that was informative and uh, maybe something you haven't seen in so much detail yet and we'll get into more detail about each of these things and I'll, I'll show you some more things as we go along. If you have any questions about this um, let me know and we can we can dig into it. So have a good week guys. Uh, have a smoke for me and we'll talk next time.